ACA Masters in Bendigo. Looking forward to, to tomorrow night. Very much so. One of the great enjoyments of playing uh, the Masters games is going to regional and country areas and, and important cricket areas uh, to support country cricket and, and hopefully bring a few smiles to some people's faces. Okay. Well, it's, I mean, it's all, it's all for a bit of fun, but how serious can we expect to Yeah, hey, 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 let's not get too carried away there. I'm like, okay, a couple of the guys are not as fresh as they once were when they were wearing the baggy green, but still very competitive. So while the idea is that we don't want, you know, to do a Jeff Thompson and break heads and crush bones and just bounce the tail like Mitchell Johnson did, good on you, Mitch. We still want to be competitive. So the idea for, for me is, I don't mind going for a couple of sixes, but I have to take a couple of wickets to go with them. So in the end, it's a game of cricket, and once you get out on the field, the competitive juices are running like they always have been? Mate, it's very like that. And, and the good news and bad news for Bendigo, the Bendigo boys is, there's a real vibe in the, the team this year. Like Rodney Hogg's 62, he's doing push-ups and sit-ups in the change rooms before our last game. We go, what's going on here? Diving in the field, it was groovy. Yeah, there's just, there's an edge to us. We're undefeated this year. How many games you played? Four from four. Four from four? Yeah. So you're here to win it. And we're on, a, we're on a trot. I, th I think it's even more from last year. So at least tack one or two extras onto that. So, you know, so the message, don't want to lose. The message to the Bendigo boys is we're here to win it. We're it, not here to make it Absolutely. No prisoners. So what's the most enjoyment you get out of, you know, the, this Masters tour? Oh, lots. The camaraderie, catching up with the guys is just always fantastic just how quickly you get back into that comfortable position that you had with guys and just catching up with them and, and hearing what they're doing with their lives and, and if things are good in their life. It's always nice to make a contribution, you know, you always feel good about doing good by other people. I really enjoy meeting country people on the whole, they're daylight better people than the, the city folk and they're very open, very progressive, very generous, very warm um, and very open. And I like watching the kids get a little bit out of it as well, you know, because some of the guys, Terry Alderman is, is a great coach, and Davo's down as well. Like, you've got the Australian coach who looked after Mitchell Johnson, got went from there to there, nine for in the test, great numbers in India in the one days, um, and Davo's looking after Lyon. So we've got, there's two Australian coaches in town to look after the kids, so hopefully they'll be able to learn something as well. And that's what you're playing tomorrow night as a team of kids. I think there's three over the age of 20. <laughs> There'll be plenty of sledging. Well, I'll ask you about that, because sledging's the hot topic at the moment. Oh yeah, come on. What, what can we expect from hot you blokes to, to give? And I imagine you'll, you'll get a bit in return. <laughs> what goes on the field stays on the field, boys. But what a joke, come on. That last test, I mean, like, wasn't it Tomo who said he likes to see blood on the deck and broken bones and crushing jaws or something like that and, and Ian Chappell you know like what he like and, and, and the only one tour of England I think it was a couple of the guys were wrestling on the bus with stab wounds torn clothes and Rod Marsh was that wasted he, he couldn't hand his passport in and I'm mean, like come on they gone soft well it, we live in a different community these days don't we you know I came through 80s 90s was lucky enough to be playing and these days, because of this guy, he's a dangerous animal, that guy, and stump, Mike, and, and what people want these days, they want it now, they want it all, they want it raw, they want it bare. Whereas Cricket Australia are going, no, 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 we want to control what's actually going on out there. You know, we, we don't want Australian cricket captains swearing, but I reckon that was the greatest advertisement for his leadership ever. Shows that he's, you know, maybe got a little bit of backbone and that he has, he is sticking up for the players and then there's a lot more love in the dressing room. Yeah, for sure. So what are you doing with yourself these days? Just trying to survive. Yeah, yeah, it's still <laughs> happening. 1-800-800-500, I can help you too. Um, I'm doing a bit of work with the ACA Masters. I'm also the state coordinator for uh, the welfare and, and past player programs. So we're just going to unwind that this year and, and hopefully create some opportunities for, for my mates, both the girls and the boys. Um, I've, got a, a little business going on here and there, I do a bit of speaking, a bit of coaching, um, very happy that my kids are out of my hair and tra travelling the world and uh, blissfully single. 2020, that's what you're playing tomorrow night, yeah. obviously coming well after you finish, but I reckon it would have been right up your alley back in the day, wouldn't it? Look, it's it's just been wonderful for the game, I'm like, I know you hear a few, the, a few of the old guys, you know, and I'm an old guy, but I just think it is fantastic for the game. 
you've got families coming, you've got a lot more females coming to the game. And I talk to the mums and dads and they love the idea of getting junior daughter, son out there, watching the cricket and getting them home and in bed, you know, before nine. And up for school, ready to rock and roll. I mean, like, if someone had a come to the cricketing world for a handful of years ago and, and said, look, we're going to play some T20 internationals and it's going to be a multi, multi-billion dollar industry, people would have laughed at you. It's been wonderful. Which one of these lads in there do you reckon is ready to, to set the QO alight tomorrow night? Well, I think tonight, first and foremost, that we have a group of speakers that would cost tens of thousands, six speakers tonight. So if you're doing nothing tonight and this is out there, please get down to the, the All Seasons here. You're in the uh, Conservatorium, I think it is. And as for just setting it on fire, I, I, and, and I don't want anyone to laugh at me, but Peter Sleep is a superstar in these matches. He's bowling better now than he was when he was playing test cricket. They're just coming out gangbusters and he's ripping it big and he's, he's a lot slower, he's a lot more relaxed. Greg Blewett's in town, he's pretty dynamic. Graham, um, Chock's, Chock's expecting to score some runs because it's only his second game and um, he's going to be keeping. Jimmy Ma's always competitive, you know, he likes, he likes, he rarely gets under a 40 and then the condition kicks out a bit, but you know, maybe tomorrow will be a bit different. And how are they coming out for yourself? Stoked. Number one wicket taker in the ACA history, man. Number one. So I'm very competitive with the ball. I, I love doing it. You know, I can still just put a little bit on them, just, you know, teasing them up there in the air and drawing them down the wicket a little bit. But it's good fun. I usually go for a few, but a couple of guys on the fence hanging on to them, you know, being held in by the crowd. So I enjoy it. Oh, well, it all makes for But no uh, batting for me. I don't bat. Don't bat? No, no bat. No bat for my Catch, oh. yeah, run around. It's just not in me anymore. You know, I was just a working class cat and had to really sort of, I don't want to do that anymore. I'm too old for that stuff, but I'll bowl all day. Well, working class cats don't make four test hundreds though, do they? Working class, that's me, man. That's all I was. I was just a working class guy who left his blood out there. Honored to be given the opportunity. But it all makes for what should be a fun uh, couple of days for you guys in Bendigo. Very much so. We're all looking forward to it. There's never any grief. There's, I'm like, I love getting around the ground, signing anything, kids, mums, you know, and it's cheap. It's any kid under 16, it's free. I think it's $5 over that. You know, it's going to the local association. It's a great cause. Get your kids off the street. Get out there and be part of the action.